Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a pocket letter I got from Joyce. She doesn't make videos, but she comments and participates on a lot of people's channels. So she's act she's an active member of the crafting community with YouTube. I um already cut the packaging open and she's sitting like this and on the front is our address so um, no need in discussing that unless you guys are trying to do a meet up where we can all meet up and hang out so I'm just taking the, the items out of the bag and I always I think I like to share the, the extras first because the main event needs a build up, you know. So she sent it in this bag and it has some die cut words, which is awesome because I don't have any die cut words cut out. And look at these little paper clips. I love these. These are so cute. And I like them a lot because they're tool. And I always want to get tool because it looks like it would be so much fun to play around with and use. But I never um, do. I've only used tool on one project, I believe, that I did. So, thanks, Joyce. You have, um, it says hope. We all need hope. Thanks. Hello. And I had got, I was gifted some hellos. You know, I just realized that my camera is doing some funky focusing. So give me, uh, let's see, is it better now? My little roommate's been playing with my phone. He takes it and he knows how to make the camera come on even though the phone is locked. So, I don't want to redo this one. Oh, this one is pretty. He says dream. And I've been messing around with my lighting, believe. So, um, hopefully the shadows aren't so bad. The last video I posted, it, in my opinion, looked really dark. So, and this one says smile. I've been thinking about getting a white crafting something to go over my actual mat. And I don't want a whole bunch of white bouncing back and forth. So, I think I'm going to just deal with it like this. I have cleaned my mat out off so these little spots you see are not it's not dirt I know my desk is always cluttered but it's not dirt it is actually um, I did something silly and put some glue down here so I'm gonna have to get some I have some adhesive remover I'm gonna just get that and do that later and she sent me this beautiful embellishment I am not very good with embellishment so this is awesome I have a go by um, and I'm not sure she stained, I think maybe she stained the back and the edges, which is so pretty. And it says, be happy. I love this. This looks like a Valentine's Day um, embellishment, which is so pretty. And then this one says, be unpredictable. And I really, really like this one. I think I'll leave this one out and put the other ones up. And then she sent me some little cards, which is super cute. And I love this. I never know how to use mine that well. So I, I just kind of have been stockpiling them. And she sent me these tags, which are cute. And I've been asking you all, I think maybe she stained these with the um, stainers, the Tim Holtz stains. I'm not sure. I'm just going to assume that she stained it with something. And I've been trying to figure out, besides what I've been doing with them, what is it for. So... That is a great idea. Thank you so much, Joyce, for that. And now to the main event, which is this heavy, schmevy pocket letter. So it's so heavy and thick and beautiful. And I love it. Let's go ahead and open this up. And you know, I like to do it section by section. And I haven't been telling many stories lately, huh, about what's going on. But who knows, you may get a story today. So this is the bottom pocket. You have this little owl with these little googly eyes. And this is so pretty, Joyce. It's so pretty. I love this when he's sleeping. 
in a little bed. It's like, who gives a who? Um, and then look at this. She's made a pocket, excuse me, a paper clip. Owl, very pretty. Go in my pocket letter washi holder, I guess. And I love this one, it's so pretty. And all these cards feel like ATC cards because they're so heavy in there. Um, and look at this owl right here. I love the googly eyes. And this one, I love this little sticker. Um, I never got them, but I like it so much. It's really pretty. And I don't need any, so no big deal. I, I just, you know, when I go to the Dollar Tree to find these stickers, I, I get a little bit jealous because I don't um, have them. And look, she, she put who? Brandy. I love that. That's so cute. And I love how the letters are not symmetrical, like kind of there. I love doing things like that. And then these are so pretty. And I got, I have a die cut like this. And I'm not sure, I have a die like this. I'm not sure if it's the exact same one um, or if it's a, a little bit off. But I was like, this owl is a bit on the creepy side but the but creepy cool not creepy like ooh no creepy cool is so beautiful and if you all look at just the workmanship that she's put into this all the cards are they have different type of little um something she's done to them where all these have things on it it's so pretty um the craftsmanship on the just the cards itself not even the whole entire pocket um it's so pretty and then she has these little balls um the trim i like these this reminds me of um back in the day you know around furniture it has these little trim on there i love that so pretty um and let's go to the back i may try this chai tea today um and she sent me another paper clip it's a little paper clip clip bow and this one says laugh until it hurts and an owl, another owl. And I love that paper that you use, Joyce. It's so pretty. Thank you so much. She sent me some flat back pearls, which is super awesome. And these, I'm, I'll, excuse me for being out of frame. Um, these are multicolor, which is cool. Very cool. Um, I may use these today in the project. And... You all, do you see this? Do you see what this is going on right here? It's buttons. That's right. She sent me some buttons. You all know how I am about buttons, right? Love it. I don't even take it out. But I think it's another paper clip in here, which I will take out because I like these. I'm going to craft lift these ideas. Maybe not today, but soon. Especially for the tool. I like that like it a lot and then she sent me some pearl colored flat back pearls which I don't have any plain white ones and these are not just plain white they're iridescent they shine and shimmer so this is so so awesome and pretty thank you so much um, and I don't know what this is we're going to explore that and she sent me some washi samples and I want to say one of these is probably a note that I'm going to read to myself. So I'm just going to pull these out really quickly. And we will take a look at this pretty little embellishment down at the bottom. This owl, look at him. His little wing on his cheek this is so cute i'm not sure if she made this or if this is a, a a stamp a sticker but i love it it's so pretty and i love the way this felt feels this little fabric is so nice and it has the back and in these little hearts it's so pretty i love each and every one of these little pockets they're so cute um and i still haven't pulled this out yet what am I doing over here? Playing with that owl's blanket. That's what's going on. She sent me some tags. Look at these tags. 
This is so, so pretty. Look at this. Whenever people send me things, I'm like, I could never think to do that. Look at this. I don't even know what, how, why, when, but it looks like a little card, you know, a playing card, a miniature size card. And it has a heart punches around the side. I'm not sure how she accomplished that. She did edge punch, you know what? And then this, Joyce, please tell me what this is. Is this a flower that you put together with some eyelash trim or some fun fur? Um, and then some more little tags. So please tell me. I would greatly appreciate that. And here is my letter. But look at this little card. This is so cute. I'm going to definitely have to scrap lift this. Um, laugh until it hurts. Special moments. Love never fails. And then behind here she wrote me a note. And I'm going to read that shortly. And then inside of this is more beautifulness. I love this little bag. And it has some sort of glitter stuff on here. I'm not sure. But I love this little bag. Look at this little bag. It's so cute. I have a Tim Holtz paper bag die that I bought on clearance from Tuesday morning. And I don't like the way it cut out. Maybe I did it wrong. I'll revisit it and try it again. And I don't have these, this um, punch or die or whatever it is. Look at that. You can definitely use these in some labels. Or you can put it in your junk journal. Or you guys are into traveler's notebooks now, making those. So you can definitely do a lot with these little labels. Very, very nice. Um, so we're going to do a quick overview of everything on the pocket letter itself in the front because you know the front as you all said you love decorating the front a lot so let's do that okay so she has embellished the side with this beautiful ball trim which i absolutely adore she's put ooh brandy and then right here says you're a hoot i appreciate you telling me that i'm comical thank you I text my boyfriend that the other day and he was like, what does that mean? And I was like, look it up. He was like, no, it probably means something bad. So I screenshotted the definition of hoot and sent it to him. She has these beautiful little owl die cuts. And this owl right here is on this leaf. And then this one, the mat, like a mandala owl. And I love that she has these little hearts on there. And then this one says, wise guy, and it's a woodpecker, some birds, and a little baby owl. And it has a heart in the middle. They're getting ready to be up to no good. You guys know that, right? You definitely can see that. Like, he's asking, mom, can I go out and play? And then they're going to be doing some bad stuff out there. Dropping stuff on people's head. And then this owl, look, has googly eyes. And then I think I've probably spent too much time on this blanket and this owl. But he's so cute. Look at that. And then this owl is on the lookout for something. And I love this jewel. This is so pretty. Thank you so much, Joyce, for doing a swap with me. You know, I used to do monthly swaps with Sylvia 51 NC, but we haven't, we haven't, we, it was just for six months. And so we stopped. And I haven't been doing swaps, just personalized swaps. I will know, I will probably no longer participate in large group swaps unless it's like send your stuff to one person and then they send it out. Um, because, you know, I have been, I won't say burned, but tainted against doing like group swaps. I had some failed swaps, so I won't be doing that anymore. But if you ask me personally to do a swap and I have time, I would definitely do one. Um... So far, everyone that has received something from me, they said they like it. And I really, really appreciate everything that I've received from you all because I absolutely adore and love it. So thank you all for watching. Happy crafting.